Our next severe weather system is right around the corner. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the location, timing, and potential impacts involved. I also wanna give a huge shout out to everyone who has subscribed. This channel is growing much faster than I expected it to, and I'm so glad people are finding value in the content that I'm putting out there. If you've been enjoying the content produced by this channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date on the latest severe weather events. Let's get into the video. The Great Lakes region in the western portion of the United States has been receiving a very impactful snow and ice storm over the past few days. Widespread power outages and nearly impossible travel has affected many of these areas, especially southern Michigan. Nearly 750,000 people in Michigan alone are without power due to this ice storm. But now we need to shift our focus to the upcoming severe weather threat that's right around the corner. The National Weather Service has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather on Sunday for the area highlighted in orange. The main factor driving the severe weather threat is the 850 millibar winds. These are lower level winds that greatly contribute to spin in the atmosphere, and 45 knots of this wind is generally considered supportive for tornadic supercells. With this system, we have some regions up to an approaching 85 knots of lower level wind, so that will be our main driving factor behind the severe weather threat. Next, I want to take a look at our severe weather probabilities issued by the National Weather Service. Anywhere in the area highlighted in red, there is a 30% chance of seeing severe weather on Sunday. Anywhere in the area highlighted in yellow, there is a 15% chance of seeing severe weather on Sunday. And anywhere highlighted in brown, there is a 5% chance of seeing severe weather on Sunday. A tornado potential is beginning to take shape on Sunday for portions of Texas and Oklahoma. Subscribe to this channel for more information on this event as well as updates on severe weather setups in the future.